Hey S2 member support team, this is Sterling Chase and I just bumped into this um, this tool the other day that has helped me integrate S2 member with my Infusionsoft account so um, I'll show you guys how that's done and uh, give a quick demo of how easy it is to set that up so anyway so I'm gonna come down to my Parsi and if you just go to Parsi.com it's a free service um, if you're gonna be sending a lot of having like tons of traffic um, go through your site and stuff I'm just using it for payment notifications um, to get all the people that have bought inside Infusionsoft so that I can um, put them into email campaigns and upsell them you could also do it for a free registrants or however you have your your business set up but they do charge by events run so there's a free account where you can run a certain amount of events if you do get to where you're using too many events you'll have to upgrade to the next plan which I believe is twenty dollars a month um, but anyway it's really nice because then you can have S2 member the power of S2 member and the power of Infusionsoft together without having to do a bunch of API work but anyway um, we're just gonna log into Parsi okay so I'm all logged in and I'm in the back end of Parsi and you can see that I have an email parser I came to this email parsing tab and clicked on that and then it shows my mailboxes that I have set up and you can see that I have a certain email address that is generated for me for this mailbox so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come copy this email address then I'm gonna come to my S2 member and I'm gonna go to my payment notifications and then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom where it says send an email transaction log of this event. I'm going to paste that email in there and click save while changes. Now I've already um, configured this but let me show you a little bit how that's done. Once you do a test purchase and send yourself um, a payment notification it's going to go into Parsi and you're going to be able to configure that so you're going to click on this little wheel and come down to edit and then here we're going to be able to choose what information we want to take from the email that we've received so you can see I created a field called first name and you can just highlight whatever you want to parse out of this email so that's what my first name is so here it's comparing to another recent email I, re I received and you can see that it's it has both of these in here so there's Testy and Charlie, so it's it's uh, parsing that correctly. So I'm going to click confirm, and then I did the same thing for last name, email, and let's say I want to snag their password. I could add one and call it password, and I could save that field, and then I would just highlight their password, and this is their generated password. So if they change it. Um, there's another way you could set that up but it would be different but anyway, you can see here it's doing the same thing so we'll confirm that and you can get the user ID and if it's a payment notification then it will have other information like what product they bought and all that good stuff um, then after you get these all configured you're going to come over here to configure actions and here you can see we have an infusion integration so you click create new action and this is how you set it up I clicked on infusion and then you connect to your Infusionsoft account and it saves them in there but all you'll need is your API key and your app name and you'll be able to connect to your Infusionsoft account um, we're gonna go back to our actions and we're gonna come in here and edit these actions and once you're inside once you've connected to your Infusionsoft account it's gonna pull in your different fields from Infusionsoft so you can see here I have my email being mapped to my email field inside Infusionsoft my first name being mapped to my first name last name last name and password I have it mapped but let's just say I want to map this to the password so now my password from S2 member is going to get updated inside Infusionsoft under password um, and then anyway we'll want to save that then here's another cool thing that we're doing inside Infusionsoft in the campaign builder you set a goal that is an API goal and then what you need from an API goal is you need a integration name and you need a call name and it will tell you that inside Infusionsoft so just create a call name and will automatically give you the integration name which is the name of your Infusion app and then you're going to take the integration name paste it in here your call name paste it in here and that would be completing an API 
campaign goal and that will start anybody who who gets added or any of this information that gets parsed is going to be added as a contact to Infusionsoft and started in whatever campaign we want them to and that's pretty much all you need to do even though there is more if you click on add another event you can run legacy actions you can create an order so you can actually keep track of what products they've purchased um, and how much they've spent with you by creating different orders depending on um, how much they've spent you can create an opportunity a note a company an appointment or complete a campaign goal and those are the different things you can do once you have parsed the information and created the contact. So let's just go back to our actions. You just need to make sure I'll just trash this guy. You just need to make sure that you have everything activated. Um, and if we go back to our email parser, we have it all activated. And uh, it's been working great. I was able to that uh, new user Charlie that you guys saw was another test user I was using today and it added him fine and put him in my campaign inside Infusionsoft and it's uh, extremely flawless and very easy to set up and uh, I just hope this is helpful for somebody else who was kind of in the same situation I was and uh, take care. Bye.